so I attempted to do a subwoofer install in my Model 3, but come to find out, I have the standard plus, and there's no amp in the back. Here, I'll show you whilst I'm here. Let's take a look at what we've got going on in the trunk here. So, if you look, yep, no subwoofer back there. All right. Uh-oh, problem. So, I prepared everything to hook the amplifier and woofer and everything back there. But, nope, ain't gonna happen. Because there ain't one back there. So my only option is to tap into the door speakers, the woofers here. And it may make this job easier because I can actually hook my amplifier directly up to the battery in the front and just run one line in the back for a subwoofer. So now I just have to take this door apart and figure out which wire am I tapping to here and on the other side to figure out where my audio signal is for this subwoofer. So let's go ahead and do that. 30 volts here one here and there's one I believe right there so let me back it up so you can see in proximity to the door so under here and over there so we're gonna go ahead and remove those hmm. beautiful Then, I believe it's as simple as just popping this door off. Um, so I bought this car outright. So I don't mind tearing it up. Now I only got one hand so I can't record me popping this door off, but I'll show you once I get it off. Let me make a little correction. There's another one right here on the side that I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Where this reflector usually is. There's one hiding up under there. And I'm pretty sure there may be another one hiding somewhere. So I'll find them all and then show you. Three, we're the only ones. And then you just pop it on off, slip something in between the door and this, and you pop them off. They have these little tabs that kind of hold the door on. So, you know, you just pop them on off. And here are my speaker wires here. So it looks like I got white and blue on this side. So I probably just need to find the white and blue in this harness because most likely it's going from the speaker around and in here and through and back through over and over here. So I need to find my white and blue over here and most likely that's my stereo feed. So if you can see, if you look, it's going to be hard to see, but if you look deep, back in there let's see if I can get you a good angle back in there you can see the wires coming out and they go to this harness right here and I see some wires that look like they could be my wires that I'm looking for so I'm gonna test them out and see if that's my white and blue Okay, so I took the harness out here and then I turned on the radio to see if I took this one out, would the music stop? Right? Would I not be able to hear sound coming out of this one? So I was able to hear sound coming out of all the speakers except for this one. So that means that most likely that white and blue right there at the top is what I'm looking for. So if it's these wires right here at the top of this harness, sorry. You know trying to film like that uh, most likely on the other side it'll be the same thing but I'm still gonna go ahead and look that way you'll know exactly what color so you won't have to take your door apart like I do All right so the other side we can see 
It's orange and black. Hmm. Interesting. Red and white for this speaker up here. So orange and black. Down and out. Alright, so let's take a look at that harness over here. Alright, and there's my orange and black right there in that harness. I'm not even going to take it out to posi tap that. That's an easy uh, connection right there. So I posi tap my wires, and now I'm going to go ahead and run the cable all the way back to the trunk area. Not really that viable of an option because it'd be difficult trying to get into the car through the firewall. So the back is probably, installing in the back is your best bet because I can just run the wires from up there all the way into the trunk and I can easily tap into my 12 volt right here and ground to any bolt in here. So this is probably my best bet and send it through this chair here. installed and working great.